The following information will provide practical tips and tricks for clinicians when managing chronic wounds with Natrox O2 therapy. The average treatment time is 8 to 12 weeks. Chronic wounds, even those which have been present for years, can still respond and benefit from Natrox O2 therapy. The longer a wound has been present, the longer it may take to kickstart the healing process and see a reduction in wound size. If the wound contains eschar, or thick, sloppy tissue, it is recommended to reduce this tissue prior to the application of the Natrox O2 Oxygen Delivery System, or ODS, so that the wound bed is approximately 80% clean. It is safe to apply the ODS on healthy or intact periwound skin. If applying to unhealthy periwound skin, a barrier film, paste, or cream may be applied for protection. The wound or periwound should never be covered with petroleum-based products, as they prevent oxygen from reaching the wound. The ODS should be positioned centrally to the wound and always applied with the shiny beige side up. Position the tubing so the patient is not sitting or lying on it. Protection under the tubing may be appropriate to prevent pressure. If extra securement of the tubing is needed, the chevron technique may be appropriate. The choice of absorptive dressing is left up to the clinician's preference. However, it will need to be an appropriate semi-occlusive dressing that completely covers the ODS to seal in the oxygen. For dressing suggestions based on wound type, see the Setup and Supplies video series. If the wound is highly exudating or draining, an additional absorbent primary dressing can be used between the ODS and the secondary dressing. For suggestions based on wound type, see the Setup and Supplies video series. When applying the dressing, the goal is to seal in the oxygen. If extra securement is needed, tape or transparent film may be placed on the edges of the dressing. Change the ODS with each dressing change or at least once every seven days. The frequency of dressing changes should be in accordance with clinical best practices and the dressing manufacturer's guidance. Initially, a temporary increase in the amount of exudate or drainage is normal. This means the wound is responding to Natrox O2 therapy. Even if the wound being treated is smaller than the ODS, do not cut the ODS. The ODS is designed to diffuse oxygen evenly across the entire wound bed. To maximize the effectiveness of the treatment, teach patients the ABCs of Natrox O2. A, always have a battery on charge. B, battery needs to be changed every 24 hours. C. Check that the green light is flashing on the Natrox O2 oxygen generator, or OG. Keep one battery charging while the second battery is in use. A best practice is to set a time each day or night to swap the battery. This helps to develop a pattern of charging and using. Do not expose the Natrox oxygen generator, or OG, and batteries to water. The OG can be wiped clean on the outside if the surface appears dirty. Do not clean inside the device. After a patient's wound has closed, some clinical teams have reported using Natrox O2 for a couple of weeks after initial epithelial coverage, as Natrox O2 therapy may continue to aid the rebuilding of collagen in the tissue and may reduce the risk of the wound recurring.